to keep standing, to remain steadfast in you, unshaken till the end of time. Daddy Lord, help me to be steadfast in you, to walk with you diligently in righteousness. Daddy Lord, help me to be true to the very end because when it is all said and done, it is all about heaven. Daddy, help me to be true that none of this world will stand against me. Daddy Lord, help me to be true. In Jesus' name we pray. the living Jesus. Shall we uh, just say a few prayers for the church and ourselves? And uh, say pray for the church, pray for ourselves. Let's pray that Lord help me in the name of Jesus. That Lord help me, I need your help. In the, every one of us need the help of God. That Lord help me on this journey. Help me in the name of Jesus. That Lord help me in the name of Jesus. Lord help me on this journey in the name of Jesus. Father help me to be faithful to you. Help me in the name of Jesus. Father help me to serve you more. Help me to do more for you in the name of Jesus. Father help me in the name of Jesus. Lord help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to be faithful to you. Help me to be faithful to your word. Help me to be more committed in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to be more committed in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to be more committed in the name of Jesus. Save my soul, Lord, save your save my soul. Save my soul, Lord, from contamination. Guide my lips from every idle word. Guide my heart from corruptions of this world. Save my soul, Lord, save your save my soul. Save my soul, Lord from contamination guide my lips from every idle word guide my heart from corruptions of this world and let's pray that Lord help me in the name of Jesus 
In Jesus' name we pray. In, um, in the book of John, chapter 14, verse uh, 30, Jesus was saying that, I will not speak here after that, the prince of this world cometh, and he found nothing in me. That Lord was so ever that is not of you, that is still working in me, that is manifesting in me, every nature that is not your nature, that is working in me, that is manifesting in me, that Lord take it away. It's just, it, it, it's the, the way sin works is like a remote control. Whatsoever, if you put a remote control to this TV, if the receptacle for the remote is not in the TV, the remote is not going to control the TV. And that is how sin is. Because the prince of this world has something in each and every one. And he was able to manipulate when he comes. He says, the prince of this world cometh and found nothing in me. And that was why he was pure to the cross. The Lord, whatsoever nature, whatsoever nature that is not yours, that is manifesting in me, Lord, by your mercy, take it away. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever nature that is not yours, that is manifesting in me, Lord, take it away in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, take it away. Lord, destroy it. Help me. Take it away. Let's cry in the name of Jesus. That is a serious prayer right there. Lord, help me. Take it away. Whatsoever nature, whatsoever nature, whatsoever, that is not your will, that is not your way, that Lord, take it away. Destroy it. In the name of Jesus, Father, take it away. Lord, walk on me. Lord, purge me. In the name of Jesus, Father, purge me. Lord, purge me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, purge me of every impurities. Purge me of every mindset that is not consistent with your word. Every ideology, every pattern that is not consistent with your way. Father, purge me. Father, purify me in the name of Jesus. The Bible says to the pure that all things are pure. To the holy, all things are holy. Lord, purge me. Search me. Even David prayed in Psalm 139. He said, search me, Lord, and put me in your way everlasting. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, purge me, Lord. Father, sanctify me, Lord. Lord, let me be more for you. There is, there is a higher ground. There are higher place. Lord, purge me. Make me consistent with your word. Make me consistent with your way. He said that we may be transformed to become like him as we behold him daily. In the name of Jesus. Father, we destroy every appearances of darkness. We destroy every manifestations. Every inspirations, every ideologies that is not consistent with your way, that is not consistent with your doctrines, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Last, let's pray that Lord will pray for your church, pray for, for Christ Evangelical Ministry and by extension to the church, that every power, Lord, every power that is fighting against for Christ's evangelical ministry for, for fulfilling, for fulfilling his God-ordained destiny that Lord destroy it every power that is fighting against your church from fulfilling his destiny from getting to his destination from fulfilling his God-assigned destiny, his God-ordained purpose, why he came alive, that Lord destroy it in the name of Jesus that Lord we stand here in unity, we pray, Lord, destroy shall we pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord, every power, every might, whatsoever that is fighting against for Christ's evangelical ministry that is fighting against your church from fulfilling his God-ordained purpose for fu from fulfilling his divine assignment Father Lord, we pray that you destroy it by your power you destroy it by your might. You destroy it by your power. 
in the name of Jesus. He said, for unto this end, unto this end you have been called. Every such power, every such manipulations, every such gatherings, every such connections, every such inspirations, every such atmospheric powers and forces, every such principalities, every such rulers in high places. Oh, may so in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, may na sadoya balada. In na so vila meno so viana. Philippians 2 11 says, A name has been given that is above every name. That the name of Jesus, every name was bow. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship your holy name. We give you all the praise. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, as we have prayed this morning, Lord, so be it in the name of Jesus. Be it unto us according to the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that in your mercy, Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, we break every yoke. We destroy every conspiracy of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. The church is marching on and the gates of hell will not prevail over her in the name of Jesus. Father, the church is moving from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. It's moving from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. It's moving from impact to impact in the name of Jesus. And that every heavens, every heavens, every father be opened in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give those hands to God as we worship him. alone he's done so much for us Yeah. 
morning church you know I always said this thing when I come up here it's a, it's a rare privilege I don't know if you get it you can pray I miss I'm telling you could be praying for one thing for 30 years and still don't get it but try praise one day you can solve your own issue just by praising and worshiping God this is our time we, we shouldn't take for granted it's a rare privilege, you know. How do you explain somebody that's hale, earthy, you know, just got off talking to his wife, slumped and died? This is somebody I know very well. No high blood pressure, nothing, no diabetes. He just finished talking to his wife, got off and died. So what, why, why do we take life with levity? Tomorrow is not promised to no man. So whatever you do, do it well when it comes to God, I'm telling you. And there's no prayer for the dead. Last Sunday in October, I think we should be excited, you know, to see a day like this. We are not consumed by coronavirus, you know. We don't have anything. We should be thankful, I'm telling you. Some died January 1st. 
but we still, you know, forget everything. You know, we should give thanks. Announcements, our weekly services. Our Sunday school starts from 10 to 11. We had an awesome time this morning. You missed big time for those that couldn't make it. Big time. Endeavor to attend. Sunday worship service starts from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible studies at 7.30 p.m. I don't get this. Zoom. So why do we now need to come to church on Wednesday if you can't be on Zoom? I'm telling you, it's, it's a, great a great disservice when you are in your house and you still cannot join. You don't even have to say anything. Just listen in. This thing gets me somehow. It gets me riled up. I'm telling you. Our monthly services, second Friday of the month is our prayer meeting and it's at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is our Holy Communion service. Every last Friday is our night vigil. We had, we had an awesome time on Friday too. For those that were in attendance, it was awesome. It was great. You know, you the new month, you set, you send your word, your prayer into the new month to set things in motion. Pray so you don't have to pray. I know what I'm talking about. One Saturday of the month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Blessing time. Offering time. Even to cash up. FCMinistryYahoo.com. Our PayPal is FCMinistryYahoo.com. Our Zelle is 240-593-2570. I'm telling you, let's endeavor to check on one another. If you, if you, Somebody may be going through something and they can't share with somebody Call the pastor. You know, he can put you through. Let's rise up as we give our offering. <laughs> faithfulness of God of life thank him for that privilege that has given to you 
there's a privilege that God has given to you that you are alive today. That's why you were able to sing, dance, because you are alive. Sometimes we think because you are so special. Truly you are special. But it's the grace that gives that specialness to you. It's the love of God. Not because of your food. Not because of the country where you live. I always say that dangers all around. Left and right. Even though in your bed there's danger. In your car there's danger. In the house that you live there's danger. But the angels of God is around you, protecting you, securing you. There is danger all over, left and right. Have you asked yourself why your life is preserved? Have you asked yourself why you are alive today? Where we see all this going on and the Lord is with you, fighting your battle, doing great things in your life. Just lift your voice and just begin to thank him. Say, Father, I return all the praise back to you. I return all the honor back to you. I return all the praise and adoration back to you. I return all the praise to you, O God. I return all the praise back to you, O God. I said, Daddy, you are faithful. You are kind. You are wonderful. Let's lift our voice to God. Let's worship Him. Let's give Him praise. Let's exalt Him. Jehovah God, let's thank him for the journey. Let's thank him for where you are. Thank him for his patience over you. Thank him for the patience of God. Thank him for the patience of God. If God begin to mark iniquity, who can able to stand? Thank him for his patience over all. Thank you for the love of him that find us. Thank you for the grace of God that locate us. Thank you for the spirit of God over your life. Thank you for the faithfulness of God in your own, in your life. In the life of your children, let's lift our voice and give God the praise. Let's say, Father, we just return all the glory back to you. Because you are faithful, God, that wonderful thing that you are doing in my life. Thank him, thank him for the plan that you have for all. Thank you for everything. Somebody lift a voice and give that praise to him. Lift a voice and thank him. Lift a voice and thank him. Open your heart, lift a voice and say, oh, say, Lord, I thank you. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Worship him. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, call him The name is the same. Our Lord, our Lord, all in your name. Every day, your name is the same.
Baraku Waka, our Redeemer, our Savior, just exalt him, lift a voice, bless him. Lift a voice, give that glory to the one that is worthy to receive it. Jesus, our Lord, our faithful God, righteous God, exalt him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Wonderful Savior, we worship him. Oh, thank him, Father, we worship him. Lord, we exalt him. Boys and worship him. Lift our boys and give that glory to El Shaddai. Lift our boys and thank him to one that been faithful, righteous God. We thank you. Oh, Daddy, we will honor you. Oh, I return all the glory to you. Oh, the honor and the praise. Oh, the glory. Oh, thank Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, faithful God, righteous God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, thank him, give the praise to him. In Jesus' name, we pray. The word of God told us this, and now I want you to pray this prayer for yourself as we go to hear the word of God and we pray. Remember, this uh, today is the last Sunday of the month, and also, also it last to give thanks to God for this privilege and also to pray to God Almighty. Psalm 119 verse 37 says, it says, Turn my eyes away from the worthiness things. Preserve my life according to your word. When he said the Lord should turn our eyes away from the worthiness things, things that now would say holding the vanity things and uh, to preserve our life according to his word. What do you say? Financially, it will preserve your life. You will not lack anything. Maritally, you will not fear because of what he has declared. In that land, in this land, he will cause you to prosper because he has said it. But I want you to open your heart and pray to God. Say, Father, turn my, turn my eyes away for the vanity things, for worthless things. And preserve my life according to your word. Can you turn that into prayer right now in the name of Jesus? Open your heart and pray. Say, Daddy, turn my eyes away from worthless things and preserve my life according to your word. Somebody pray, pray, tell the Lord. The Lord God of heaven to turn your, your eyes away from worthless things. My father, turn my eyes away from worthless things and preserve my life according to your word. Somebody pray, 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 pray for yourself. Pray that word of God for yourself. That Lord should turn you our eyes away from what less is. He can only and preserve our life according to your word. Father, open your heart and pray. Pray and pray that word of God. Pray it to him. He can Pray that word of God to him. Pray that word of God to God. The Lord God of heaven to turn our eyes in from the worthless things. Father, and fulfill your word. Open your heart to pray. Pray the word of God to him. In the name of Jesus. And preserve your life according to his word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I wanted to pray this word to God, but to him, in the same chapter, Psalm 119, verse 38, he said, fulfill your promise to your servant. Praise the Lord. Oh, what did he say? He said, establish thy word unto thy servant. Hallelujah. Who has devoted to thy fear. Hallelujah. I wanted to pray that Lord fulfill what you have said to me. You have said that you're going to grow. You have said that he's going to bless you. You have said that he's going to increase you. Say that if you fulfill your word to your servant, oh God. That means to you, you are servant of God. Open your mouth and pray to God. In the name of Jesus. The Lord should Somebody pray to God. In the name of Jesus. 
open your heart and pray that Lord should fulfill his, his word to you that he will protect you that he will secure you tell him to fulfill his word that he will increase you on every side open your heart and pray pray that word to him pray that word to God that Lord should establish what you have said concerning you everyone now I am a son to labor city in Jesus name we pray how many of you, whether you have been under through the word of God, under the prophet, because they say that they say, I don't I don't deny it. God has called some people to be a prophet, and what prophet mean they, they are seer to see, to declare their mouth for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What the prophet will do, they are mouthpiece for God, they are here to declare what the Lord says, like Samuel, he foretold what is going to be to uh, to Samuel, to also uh, no, to Saul and also to David. How many of you ever be on that one before? That uh, when I uh, they have told you, my sister, I can see that you're going to move forward in life. Uh, that I can see you're going to be blessed. I mean, have you heard that before? You never see that before. Maybe I can tell you one. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet, but you know, I know God moved it. Uh, when I was young, I was there one day. You know, my father. You know, my mom, we, after prayer, there's one man. You know, I've seen many prophets, you know, I, even though I, I grew up in a prophetic uh, environment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I hear people, whether they are saying to people, the Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to do this for your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are they lying? No, I'm not, they are not lying because that's the God revealed his plan. Listen, there's no evil plan for you that God has for you. Every evil plan is for Satan. Know that Jeremiah chapter 33, he made me to know. He said, I know the thought. So, when God is thinking about every one of us, never want you to die on timing, never want you to seek, never want you to have trouble because that defined the thought of God. He said, I know the thought I have towards you, thou says the Lord, not of evil. So anything that is evil is not what? It's not it's, so so God is not thinking evil concerning you. But how do we find evil? How do we get whether through ourselves, Satan, when disobedience to the word of God will lead us to many things that God don't have for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God says, establish what you have told to your servant. You have been told that when you are coming to this land, it's gonna for you. You have been told that your business will move forward. You have been told that your children is going to be great. And even though the, apart from the word of the prophet told you, the word of God also declared that to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God also declared his promises over your life. I want you to begin to lift your voice. It's time for that vision. It's time for that prophetic word in your life to come to pass. Say, Daddy, bring your word to pass to your servant. I mean you. Bring your word to pass in my home. Bring your word to pass in life of my children. Bring your word. Is there establish that word unto your servant, O God. Open your heart and pray. Open your heart to pray. The Lord should establish what you have said concerning you. Open your heart and remind him. He Open your heart and fulfill your promise unto your servant, so that they may fear thee. Open your heart and pray, 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 pray. The Lord should fulfill what you have said, because you have been waiting for it. You are to, we have been waiting for the dream to come to pass. You have been waiting for the word of God to come to pass. You have been waiting to begin to live in your dreams. Uh, open your heart and pray that you should establish what you have said to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. In the same chapter, Psalm 119, verse 49, it says, remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this, to your promise, preserve my life. My comfort to this is the promise of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what makes you to act? What makes you to wake up every day to stand because of what? Because of what? I know it's grace of God. 
Do you know what makes you to get out of your bed today? Every time. Because you have hope. You don't know that? Hello? Do you ever know that? That every time you wake up in the morning, that means you, you carry hope in you. That makes you to get out of the bed. Oh. No, I, I you know. Oh, I, 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 you know, depression is one thing. Sometimes we are thinking, do you know that when the depression wants to start, you know you feel like sleeping, get on the bed. That's what depression is. You know, do that. I could remember one time I just, you know, just I feel like sleeping, 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 sleeping. You know, it's not like you're sleeping. You are just, you know, you are just on the bed. You just don't want to say anything. I, that, that's depression right there. You don't know. You don't know that. You, that's depression. Depression starts with that. It's literally that you just. Want to be on yourself? You just want to. You don't feel like doing anything. You just feel like sleeping. You don't want the bed. You don't want to get up on that bed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or you just want to be in one place. You don't want to do anything. Uh, they say they are doing it. No, no, no. Go and do. I'm, I want to stay home. What? Go and do this. No, no, no. I don't want to. So why you wake up the every morning because of what? Hope. There's hope. Hope. Hope in your life. You have hope every time. I know it's going to be better. And what gives us hope is the promises of God over your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That I know uh, this will not end me. When the hope is lost, the life is finished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do you think people commit suicide? Because the hope is what? They, say they, have, they have no hope. They don't have nothing to live for anymore. Why you are here alive? Because you are thinking, I have something to live for. I have hope. Whether you, I don't know whether you, through your children you are seeing hope. Maybe this, I know this one, if I can treat them well, they will treat me better in the future. Hallelujah. I know whether your job, so if I do, I put more effort a little bit to my job, is my life is going to get better. You are putting hope on that job. Whether your husband, so far you are with me, you are loving me, I think I will be fine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether it is your wife too, I don't know which one. Hallelujah. But there is hope in your life. But the only thing is the hope. That what gives us a great hope is the word of God. What God has said concerning you. That's why you need to remind him and tell him. He said, remember your word to your servant. I want to begin to tell you, Father, remember your word to me. When I said, the Lord, remember what you have said to Abraham concerning the children of Israel in the land of Egypt. God, remember Anna. God, remember Rachel. God, remember, I want you to begin to lift your voice and say, Father, remember your word to me in the name of Jesus that you're going to heal me. Remember your word for you have given me hope. That word that you have said to me has given me that hope. He said that word for Tata. That word has given us hope. Open your heart and pray, 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 pray. Tell the Lord that daddy remember your word in the name of Jesus. What you have said to me that you establish me. That you have that you're going to go with me as me that hope in the name of you. Remember that, Father. What you have said to me that you will be with me has given me that hope. Remember that word. What you have said to me that you will fight my battle has given us hope that will help our children, that will help us in every areas of life has given us hope as the Lord. The Lord should remember it in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. What God has said to you has given us hope. He said, I will help you. And God says, He's going to help me. And people are waiting to see where is the help will come. He said, Father, let that help come now. Let that help come for me now. Let my miracle happen now. Let my manifestation happen now. I want you to open your heart and say, let my manifestation happen now. Do you know many, many blessings have been hanging in the spirit? Look at me. What I say? Many blessings have been hanging in the spirit where you don't know. God has done it once you have called God. God that told us to ask him, he wants to give to you. Why? I want to say, ask me and I don't want to give. Why God want you to uh, just to suffer? Pray, 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 and you can say, Lord, every let that be manifestation of your word in my life. Every blessing, every of my blessing that being angry in the spirit, 
that enemy have taken hold of it. In the, let it be released to me. Can you activate the angels of God to go on your behalf right now? In the name, every blessing, every of your miracle that is be hanging in the spirit. Uh, open your every of your healing. Uh, somebody pray. Let it come to pass right now. Every of your miracle that is be in the spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You don't pray that prayer very well. Because you don't know what is happening. You know, I, I only say it, I will say it again. Do you know the book of Job revealed to us what happened when you pray? How many of you agree with me? You don't agree? Go and read that book of Job again. The Bible makes me to understand that the first day that Job opened his mouth to heaven, Job chose 21 days to fast. Right? That's why we sometimes many people fast 21 days, you know? He chose 21 days to pass. The first day that he opened his mouth before heaven, God answered right away. Okay? And this man is praying. No? First day, not second day, third day. No? Right away. Go and give this man his request. After two days, three days, the man don't receive anything. And now, but one thing that helped the man, he never stopped to pray. So he keep on praying, praying. Ah, no. And now, how did I know that? Are you dear pastor? Because some people are telling us the Bible is not true. Hallelujah. But the, 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 the word came after the angels began to reveal. He said, right away, I want to bring the blessing to you. But the prince of Persia hold me down not to get the blessing to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the angel Michael helped Come, the Lord sent Michael to come and help me. What he's saying is hierarchy. Satan is bigger than that angel because the, the angels has hierarchy. You know, there's hierarchy in that. The, so it's bigger than him. So he hold the one, the one down that you cannot take the blessing. You cannot give Job the blessing. So now what God has to do? God sent angel Michael to come because. In Michael and the same and Satan at the same level, they are, they are hallelujah. They are said to him, The law rebuke you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because this blessing that God has sent to Job, that you don't want this angel to deliver to him, the law rebuke you. Do you know many of your prayers? So that opened our eyes. Many times we pray, God have answered. Now, where is the manifestation? Is it God lying? Hallelujah. That's why your perseverance and your persistence has to come in. Where you, you pray, you don't stop. Even the Bible told you, until, you let, until your joy is what? Until your joy is full. Never stop. Why is this telling you? Don't stop until you get it. Because you know what is happening in the spiritual realm. Praise the Lord. I was listening to a sermon yesterday and it shocked me. He said, he said many of us we are fighting the Bible told you are fighting spiritual battle. So how do you think you, you can fight this? You, you use the things of the spirit to fight what? So you can't fight it. You say you are, you are, you are fighting. The Bible told you that you are on, this, you're on the battle, you're a spiritual battle. And you think you're going to fight this spiritual battle with... Uh, oh, I, 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 there's somebody that called me one time. He said, Pastor. I said, yes, uh, ma'am. He said, ah, there's somebody that's in my life, you know, they told me that the woman is the one. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. He said, but what I'm going to do, I'll go and cost the person out. He said, I'll go and cost the person out as anything. I said, but that don't change anything. You cost, her in, you cost the person out in the day. You flood you in the night. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, you, even though... It, do you know that even though we in Africa, we, the, you know, many people are we, into all these um, witchcraft, all this kind of. Do you know even though the, the, by law is not even though the law don't accept it in Nigeria too. You don't know that that oh this person is no the law don't agree with it. Praise the Lord. You can't do what. There's somebody they are beating in the night. They beat the person through the dream. I'm telling you, some people they have ah uh, yeah a lot. There's some people, some of them that call me one time say, I can't, at midnight, it's a fear. You cannot sleep. He said, at midnight, no. Hallelujah. That's why you need to put on the old word. 
I'm of God. Lift your voice and say, Father, let all my blessing, all my request that is hanging in the spirit, let all what I've asked you, God, that you have supplied me, that I have not yet received, be given to me quickly. In the name of Jesus, can you lift your voice and begin to pray to God? That your request before the Lord that you have not yet received. In the name of Jesus. That your breakthrough that is not yet manifest. Open your heart and pray. Say, Father, let the doors open for it. Let the miracle open for it. Open your heart and pray. Let the doors open for it. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray. Let the miracle in life of my children that my children have not yet received. Let the blessing in life of my children that I have not yet received. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you know you have a weapon to rebook Satan? Michael always said to Satan, the Lord rebook you. But you also you have a weapon now. Say, what is that weapon? Say, what is that weapon? You have Jesus, the name of Jesus. The Bible told me at the mention of that name of Jesus, every nail must bow. Now, I want to begin to tell the Lord, Satan, in the name of Jesus, remove your hand upon my blessing. Every territorial spirit in my family, every territorial spirit in this city, in this country, in my life, that is denying me this blessing, in the name of Jesus, bow, 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 can you turn it to prayer, every, every generation spirit that is enslaving life, open your heart and pray, bow, 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 in the name of Jesus, he said, at the mention of that name, every power denying me of this blessing, every circumstances, every spirit in the atmosphere, he got my Every territorial spirit, every spirit of darkness, every spirit of darkness, in every territorial spirit, every spirit in the atmosphere, deny me this blessing that is robbing me of this blessing. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to know there's a spiritual realm that sometimes. I don't know why sometimes God don't really open our eyes to it because maybe we think we don't want to be afraid a lot. Hello. Sometimes say, oh, I want to see God. I want to see angel. If you see angel, you quickly raise her on. You don't know that. Maybe so it's just somebody standing in your house. <laughs> Hallelujah. And what God will say? The reply is say, fear not. He always says that you say fear not because you know there's a tendency for you to fear. Praise the Lord. I can remember one time. I was so young. I was praying. The, you know, I live in a mission house. You know, so I was. I went to the to the church to begin to pray. I don't know whether he opened my eyes or I don't know. I just, I just saw something. I ran out of the church. I, I left the place and pray. I don't know whether I'm seeing something. I don't know what's happening. I just saw what's going on. And I pick it is. I pick. And I know. Hallelujah. There's a spiritual realm all around. Sometimes you can sometimes you can tell. When something is about to happen, you can tell, you can feel it. Praise the Lord. Sometimes when I, you can just feel something is uh, not just the atmosphere is quiet somehow. And when God wants to move also, you hear the quietness. Praise the Lord. Sometimes take note of this light sometimes. This light that you see. Sometimes you will see in the atmosphere. The light will come so bright a little and quiet. I don't say you should begin to look at light. Sometimes it happens like that. You know, just see the atmosphere will change through the light and it's quiet. Praise the Lord. You know, if you are really sensitive to things of even though you are in your home, sometimes when you are sleeping, you can sense the atmosphere. Sometimes, huh? whether you, you, you get up to pray or the thing will press you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why you say to put on the old armor of God. You are not fighting against the flesh and blood. 
So if God told us to put on the whole arm of God, he told us the weapon to fight the battle. But I pray today, victory shall be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, victory is mine in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, victory in my home in Jesus' name. You can have your seat. I want to begin to lift your voice and say, Father, I pray I need your victory. That victory that you have won for me, let it manifest. You can open your mouth and pray. Sit and tell the Lord. Say, that victory that you have won for me, in the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray, 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 pray. He has won, he has won the battle for you. Open your heart and pray. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. That song say, I love you. Sing that song. The victory. Say something that beyond a man. Hallelujah. Miracle is something that beyond a man. Hallelujah. God works to miracle to reveal his glory. God work a miracle to reveal his glory. So I want you to look unto God for your miracle. And what is the miracle? Miracle about your life, about your dreams, about everything. God cannot be put aside and put yourself to look for your miracle for yourself. Life, ma, in life now, many things will tell you, fight for yourself. Don't listen. Look unto God for your miracle. And also, another thing I want us to encourage before we pray and share the word and, 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 and we take Holy Communion is another thing. When you are looking unto God for a miracle, also be a part of, be God's own. Praise the Lord. Because he will not give his food to the dog. The food is for what? It's for the children. Praise the Lord. And everyone is a children of God when your heart is open. I want you to know when you look unto God for your miracle, not only so, believe him that he is the one that can do it. 
God want to God wants every one of us to experience his miracle and also be part of him. Listen, let me tell you one thing. Don't just come to church. Please. Don't just come to what? Don't just come to church. Come to a point of experiencing with experiencing supernatural with God. A place of encounter with him. Your place of encounter is a place that nothing can shake in your life. Your place of encounter that nothing can move in your life. You know, one thing I, I begin to look at, I was telling somebody yesterday, and I said to that person, I said, God, that I said to him, I know my people, and my people knows me. Praise the Lord. Well, repeat that word again. I know my people, and my people knows me the people of God. God knows his own people. People, we can sit in a church and God knows the one that belongs to him. Praise the Lord. And what is the heart of those that God is looking for? Is the heart of those that his heart, their heart is yearning for God. That means God is number one in their life. And by their experience, they can't deny him. Whether in their poverty or lack, or they are always still with him. Whether in sickness, but they have hold on to him. He said, I know my people and my people that nothing can shake the knowledge of God out of their life. Nothing can move the wisdom of God out of their life because they have come to a place of a canter. Hallelujah. In that place of a canter, your life will find it. In the name of Jesus. I want you to look unto God for your miracle. What is he saying? Look unto God to be of your help. Look unto God for your deliverance. Look unto God for your healing. Look unto God for your provisions. Look unto God for everything. Did you have to believe God for everything? Yes. Hallelujah. Did I have to believe God for everything? Yes. Because the Bible says, commit all your commit your ways unto the Lord. When you wake up, God, I'm going out this morning. God, when you come in, when you're going, we are coming in, say, Father, I'm going back home today. Anytime, commit your way. Look unto God for your miracle. Hallelujah. I say your life will find the miracle in the name of Jesus. He said, God, through miracle, he revealed his glory, confirming his message, confirming his purpose, true to those who see him in, with the eyes of faith. So, you want to get that miracle. You must see God with the eyes of faith. Praise the Lord. What do you ask to see God? What? I, what, what? With the eyes of faith that I believe. Even though I don't see it now. I know. Don't walk with God. Let me see it first. That's not faith. Whether you don't see it now. Just see it when you look onto God. Eyes of faith. that I believe you can do it. I believe you can change my life. I believe you can change my story. I believe you can lift me up. I want to begin to look unto God with eyes of faith. And God will not disappoint you. As of today, your miracle will happen for you. I say your miracle will happen for you. Can you say that amen louder? Your mir say my miracle will happen for me. Say my miracle will happen for me. Your miracle is the evidence of your faith with God. How did I know that? Is your miracle is the evidence of your faith with God. John chapter 4 verse 48. Jesus said unto him. Unless you see signs and wonder. You will not what? You will not believe. Hallelujah. Do you know why Jesus Christ works a miracle? When he was alive. When even he's still alive. When he's on earth. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. When he's on, on this earth, when he was walking on earth, he told, he told them one day, he said, if you don't believe what I'm saying, believe in what? In my works, what I'm doing. Who can raise the dead? Hallelujah. Who can raise the dead? It's only God. Who can raise the dead? It's only God. Doctor cannot raise the dead. Praise the Lord. If you want to try, go and just catch any animal and kill it and, and see whether it's going to raise. When the life is off, that's it. Don't try with any woman being. Just try with anything else apart from woman being. And see that that life, that life left that person, that's it. Praise the Lord. It's only God that can raise the dead. 
that can restore life back into you. He said, you can, if you don't see a miracle, you will not believe. Many of you, what people are looking for is a miracle. That's why if I don't get it here, I'll get it here. I'll get it there. Hallelujah. Because you are looking for what? Miracle. I said you will find it in Jesus' name. But when you look unto God for a miracle with eyes of faith, you're going to get that miracle. I want you to open your Bible to Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And he said unto them, because of your little faith, for truly I say unto you, if you have like a green of mustard seed, you will, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will be moved, and nothing will be impossible for you. Look at that word. Look at that word. Look at that word very well. God said that if you have a faith in you, you say this thing move and it's going to move. How many of you have you tried that before? How many of you have you tried that before? He said one thing to move and it's going to move. Very well. So, have you tried that before? So you never pray. Your prayer has never been answered before. I'm not saying you should go outside there and say this month you move. No, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about things that is going on in your life. Praise the Lord. Even I've seen somebody that also testified. There's a mountain. He went over. To, this mountain move, move, move. You know, maybe a little lack of understanding. But at eventually, at one point, the road passed the place, and the mountain was moved. I want you to know one thing: God answers every prayer that you pray. You probably don't do it the way you want to. But he will come at to show you that his word is true. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I know that. God always show at all times. Want to prove my word is true. One thing that is that you must comply with that word. And at the end, that word will not fail you. Hallelujah. Truly, if you pray sometimes, it seems that God don't answer. Wait for it. Look back to that prayer many years ago. What you have cause to do is to glorify God. You will not say, I re no, there's no way to say, I, I regretted it. No, there's nothing like that. Because he told you, I'll ask and it shall be. This is sometimes we do things and God knows that it's out of ignorance. But God also wants to prove himself to be God. I could remember one time I was going to go to a Ghana certain and I don't have that money. And I was praying, praying. I want to go to Dallas then. When I look at that time, so I was in the hotel, able to go, how God provides the my trip. He saw out to me, you know. But I, now I look, I was sitting there and saying, but where are you now? As I said, I'm in Dallas now. Where, where, where do you pray for? I said, but the money for the hotel, are you sitting out there? God answers prayers. Praise the Lord. When you look unto him with eyes of faith, you will see your miracle. He said, it shall, it shall be moved and nothing shall be impossible unto what? Praise the Lord. Do you have anything in your mind today? Let's apply that to scripture and see the power of God. What I say? Let's apply that scripture and see the power of God. How do you see the power of God? Number one, let's align ourselves with the word. Let's position ourselves with that miracle. And let's believe God for that miracle. And let's take the step of faith for that miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also let us open to God's way to perform the miracle. What I say, open to God's ways to perform that miracle. I want us to put that word to test today. Is anything in your heart is seen impossible? He told you, and nothing shall be what? Do you, do you think Jesus has said this word? I've seen it, it's seen it all before they made the conclusion that nothing is impossible. Oh, ah, I forgot. Oh, listen, I'm very sorry. I did not tell you this. You should add this to it. I'm, but you told me that nothing is impossible. Ah, in marriage. No, 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 no. That was, uh, I, don't, I don't think about that. What about, oh, uh, 
I, I don't think about this 21 century now where things is moving so fast. I don't know that it's going to be like this. No. They have seen it all. Nothing is impossible to them that believes. Hallelujah. Even to this moment, to those in the past, to those that were here, and to those that are coming, he has come to conclusion that nothing is what is impossible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether you believe it today. God will perform his word in your life. Is that not that Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says, Behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all what? Of flesh. Is he anything too hard for me to do? The Bible says God has ceased performing miracles. He has never ceased performing the miracle. He's still God of miracle. Why? Because God never changed. Praise the Lord. God never what? He never changed. He's the same God yesterday. He's the same God today. If he has done it before, he's going to do it again. I pray he's going to do it in your life. Say that amen louder. He's going to do it in your home. He's going to do it in your marriage. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. I want you to look unto God with eyes of faith today. One thing that I want you to know that he gave himself for sacrifice for you so you can get the miracle. Jesus paid the ultimate price, the penalty for our sin, and accomplished the miracle of salvation. He paid the penalty for everything and accomplished the miracle of salvation, which is the greatest one. Hallelujah. Through his son, we have salvation today. I want you to look at that word. Oh, nothing is impossible to them that believes. I want to begin to lift he say, you will say to this mountain, be thou removed. And thou, that mountain will begin to remove. I want to begin to tell the Lord, what, I don't know that thing that has been before you. And for those that are watching online right now, I don't know what that thing that you have been crying upon. Let's put that word to test this morning. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. I want everyone to begin to lift up oil. You told me, Jesus, if I said to this failure to move, he's going to move. I want to begin to lift your voice and begin to tell him, this failure move now. This sickness move now. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to tell that thing that you don't want right now? Can you begin to tell that failure that you don't want now? In the name of Jesus. He said, nothing impossible to them that believe. He said, nothing impossible to them that put their hope in God. He said, nothing impossible. He said, all things are possible for them that believe. Open your heart and pray. Apply the eyes of faith before the Lord. Apply the heart of faith. The eyes of faith to get your miracle. To get your healing. To get your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. Masutaka ripatote lisate morabati tatayabo rupatu tata. Open your heart and pray. Nete teri bata lipre doti kete ripatoli matata o tata ribo sota. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. As I'm praying, that what is what I hear in my spirit is that there's somebody here. I don't know whether you are watching me or you are here. I hear it when I was praying that prayer. That you are weary of life. You are tired of life. I don't know anyone that is here this morning. That you look at your life. That it seems that you are tired. You are weary of life. You are tired of life. I pray that the strength of God that will bring hope back to you come upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, that your miracle that you will bring hope back to you that your miracle that will bring hope back to you. That your miracle that will bring hope back to you. Rest upon you right now. Say that amen louder. That your open doors that will bring hope back to you. That favor that will bring hope back to you. Let it manifest right now. Say manifest. My hope. Manifest. My miracle. Manifest my healing. Manifest. Open your heart and begin to pray that.
that it should manifest that Lord should restore hope of that marriage hope of that life of that children hope of in your life in the name of Jesus open your heart and pray that Lord should restore the hope back to you in every rest of your life hope again hope again hope again in this church hope again in this ministry hope again in the life of everyone hope again in our life hope again in the life of our children open your heart and pray in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray tell that thing that you want God to remove say Lord next week is Thanksgiving Sunday if you can do this for me oh God this mountain I want you to remove for me I will give thanks surprise me let your word come to pass in me let your word come to pass in my situation next week Sunday is a Thanksgiving Sunday I want to give thanks concerning this I want these doors to open I want this miracle to open for me to happen for me somebody pray to God that Lord should perform his word in your life right now he said nothing is impossible nothing is impossible he said nothing is impossible he said nothing is impossible to them that believe healing in the name of Jesus to them that is sick healing in the name of Jesus to them that is sick right now healing in the name of Jesus to anyone that is sick right now Ili mama 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 son to libo. Ili mama 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 son to libo. Ili mama mama son to libo sante. Ili mama mama son to libo sa. In the name of Jesus, miracle, 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 miracle. Ili mama son to libo sante. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray over two image tied together. Let Holy Spirit lose it now in Jesus' name. I saw two image tied together. Whatever thing that been tied together, Holy Spirit that is not of you, lose it now in the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody, you are praying for the Lord to visit your house. Let heaven visit that house now. Let Jesus visit your house. Let Jesus visit your house. Let Jesus visit your house. Let there be wonders and miracles. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. Thank you, good God. I pray let, let your miracle happen for you. Let's pray for the church. Let's say, Father, we want to see the miracle power of you, God, over for Christ and the ministry. Lift your voice and say, Father, we want to see the miracle over this church. We want to see the transformation of your power. They want to see the power of God, power of you that transform life, that transform the atmosphere. Say, Lord, we want to see the power of you that transform the atmosphere. Ah, le masando yabaha. Father, let the power of you go that transform the atmosphere rest upon your church, rest upon your home, rest upon your children, rest upon your family. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray, let the glory of God rest on you. Let the glory of God rest upon your life. Let the glory of God rest on you. In the name of Jesus. As of today, step into your blessing. As of today, step into your abundance. As of today, step into your blessing. Get your credit card. Get your credit card. Get your wallet. Get your credit card. Get your wallet. Get your credit card. Or your debit card. Get your card. Get your card. Get your card. Let me get my card. Or you have a cash on you. Hallelujah. Don't worry. You are you are you are going on with your money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Get your wallet. Get whatever thing. Get your wallet that symbolizes the financial aspect of life. 
Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I walk in abundance of breakthrough. Financially, I walk in ab abundance of breakthrough. No lack over my life as of today. Pray, pray for yourself. You walk finan marriage will be sweet when there is money. When there's money, marriage will be sweet. And I have a boso to tell that about us at I have a more with the many things you can do. Do you know many things that you are crying today for because you don't have money? That's why Ali Masanda, because you don't have money, that's why you are crying. Only Masuda do Robo Shatayaba. Many things that you are crying for today. I am a basada. Lack remove, lack remove, shame remove, lack remove, failure remove over your finances. Over your finances, over your finances, over your say, life of God, rest upon your finances right now. Life of God, rest upon your finances right now. Miracle, rest upon every finances aspect of your life. You walk in abundance of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Do you know many things that you are praying for because you don't have money, that's why. When you have money, you move on. God, I want to buy a house. When God bless you, you, you have money to buy a house. Hallelujah. We want to buy a church building. Today, because anyone have money today, say, Pastor, what are you talking about? Don't mention it anymore. Go and find the land. Go and find anything. This is what we're going to pay. Hallelujah. And Satan fight your finances. Because he know you can do many things through it. Praise the Lord. You can do what? Because money answers to many things in life. You have a nice car. You have a nice house. You send your children to best school. You live in a nice environment. But that's not one thing. You still need God above all. Lift that wallet before the Lord. Say, Daddy, I walk in abundance. No more lack in my life. In the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of poverty. I break the yoke of poverty. That yoke of poverty in your life. In that break that yoke. I cancel that yoke. I cancel that yoke of poverty. This morning, I cancel the yoke of poverty in my life, in my home. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of poverty. Today, we break the yoke of lack. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of lack. We break the yoke of lack. We break the yoke of lack. We break the yoke of poverty. As on today, we break the yoke of poverty. In Jesus' name, we pray. You pray that one more prayer, and we take all the command and we share the grace. And we go. You will see the young man say, don't wait. Look at the age of the man with the Facebook. See the, 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 the year that God has been blessing them. Even though when you look at the past president, even if, from, if you are from Nigeria, you look at those presidents, they're in the power at the age of 30. At the age of what? David himself. So D David was, he was 30. Joseph was 30. Jesus began... He began his ministry when he was what? So God also know He knows that important of when you are young. Hallelujah. So it's good to enjoy life when you are young. Now sometimes when you have something, they put meat in your mouth, you can't chew it. Because your teeth cannot grind it anymore. Now many things you cannot enjoy anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many things you cannot enjoy anymore. When you, that's why you need God to do it quickly for you. Raise that to your wallet before the Lord. As heaven, he said, that I, I am the Lord that gave power to get what? Is the one that is the one that is giving people to get what? Facebook people that you are talking about, Amazon that they are working billions, he gave them. Much more you, a child of God, sitting down in his presence, living for him, working for him. If God can give people how to get it more much i know many times he's telling us to do things we don't listen hallelujah but also he can he can he can restore you back again lift that wallet before the lord say father i break the yoke of lack in my generation today i break the yoke of poverty in the name of jesus in my family uh, upon me i walk in abundance open your heart pray you break the yoke of lack in the name of Jesus, I break the yoke of poverty. I break that yoke. Wisdom from above. 
knowledge from above things that you will do that you break the channel equal tire about things that we know in the name of jesus that we give that abundance to you in the name of jesus ideas from ever knowledge from ever in the name of jesus i walk in abundance in jesus name we pray I stand by the authority of him that won't send me today. As on today, you come out of paycheck to paycheck. Wait for another one to spend. You come out of it in Jesus' name. From abundance, you walk in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, my daddy. Ilya Basata Iba will start for the end. I see the hand slapping that hand. I see the one hand touching that hand. Today, let that hand be touched. Let your hand be touched. Let your hand be touched. Let Holy Spirit touch that air. Let the power of God touch that air. In the name of Jesus. You will use for God's glory. What God has given to you, you view for his glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can you shout that big hallelujah? Shout it hallelujah. Shout that big hallelujah. If you believe it, shout it very well. See, because God wants you to see, it will make the gospel to be sweeter. You pass, you, you, are, you want to preach to somebody, and you park, you park your nice car, and you come out of that car. You say, Who owns the car? He says, Me. He says, But the Jesus Christ, my Lord Jesus Christ, has done it for me. He will listen to you. He says, Who is the boss here? You are the boss that I want to hire them. He says, uh, My brother, um, Jesus, make me to be this in life. He, you will think about it if Jesus can make this one. But if your your shoe is, I swear to God, and everything, <laughs> say, let's keep your Jesus yourself. Your Jesus never favor you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It makes you, yeah, he, he preached the gospel. Blessing of God over your life. Preach the gospel. Hallelujah. You lack, he said, he said you lacking nothing. I pray you walk in abundance of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to take Holy Communion and take it. Hallelujah. Let's remember, let's remember what he has done. He said we should do this in remembrance of what he has done for us. And what he has done, he paid the price. He gave us the victory. Father, we are doing this in remembrance of what you have done for us. In remembrance of you, Jesus. Let it turn to power in us in Jesus' name. Let sin and flesh die. And let your spirit come to life. Let it bring healing. Don't let it bring damnation to us. Don't let it bring judgment to us. Let it bring liberty and mercy. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You can take it. in Jesus name let the yoke cancel today in Jesus name give thanks and take it give thanks and take it the blood was shed for you for the remission of your sin for the cleansing as you take it give thanks to God give thanks to God and take it When they get to heaven, they're going to take this thing with him again. That's the last supper with them. So we have a supper with him in heaven. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. Heavenly supper, you will not miss it in Jesus' name. Dialing with Jesus in heaven, you will not miss it in Jesus' name. As you do it in remembrance of him, let every miracle of him manifest in your life. Say that, amen. Let every miracle of that Jesus Manifest in your own, manifest in your body, manifest in this church, manifest in your walk. 
as you are going to walk today from this week let holy spirit go with you the lord will bless your going out and your coming in we commit all our children into your care father let your glory be upon them and for those that have given themselves to teach them oh god father remember them oh god to them that have, that have surrendered for your service for these children i 